Are you struggling with high ping and frustrating network latency while gaming? In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your network adapter settings step-by-step -step to reduce ping, fix network latency, and get a smoother, faster connection. These tips are simple, effective, and will help you get the most out of your internet. So, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let me know about your experience after applying these tweaks. I'd love to hear how they worked for you. Let's dive in and make your connection lightning fast. In the first step, guys, we will optimize your TCP IP settings to enhance your network performance improve connection stability, and reduce latency. These changes will help your PC handle internet traffic more efficiently, providing a smoother network experience. To optimize your TCP IP settings, first open the command prompt. Go to search bar, type CMD, right-click on command prompt in the search results and select Run as Administrator. If prompted by user account control, click Yes in the command prompt window. Now enter the first command to reset the TCP IP auto-tuning feature. You can copy these commands from description of this video. Now enter the second command to enable RSS receive side scaling. Now enter the third command to enable the chimney feature, which offloads network processing to your adapter. Now enter the fourth command to set the congestion provider to CTCP. After completing these commands, restart your PC to apply the changes. In the next step, we will optimize our network settings manually to reduce latency and fix high ping issue. Right-click on the network icon and navigate to Network Settings. From there, proceed to Advanced Network Settings and then to More Network Adapter Options. Identify the connection you are currently using and disable any unused connections. After that, open Properties. In the list of options, uncheck almost everything except for IPv6, which you might want to keep enabled depending on your needs. Typically, it's safe to disable it. Retain only the first and fourth options for optimal settings. Next, configure the fourth option by clicking on Properties and setting up Cloudflare DM DNS. To determine the most optimized DNS for your system, first run Command Prompt, search Command Prompt in the Windows, search bar and run it as admin. In the command prompt, test connection speeds by typing ping 8.8.8.8 for Google DNS and noting the results. Then type ping 1.1.1.1 to test Cloudflare DNS. DNS. Compare the results to decide which DNS is faster. If Cloudflare DNS performs better, configure if your Google settings DNS with 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Use 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. Once you've identified the optimal DNS, apply the settings and click OK to save. To further configure your network, click on Configure at the top to access additional settings. Under the Power Management tab, ensure the option to allow the computer to turn off the device is unchecked. Then, go to the Advanced tab and carefully review all available options. Disable features like Adaptive Interframe Spacing, ARP Offload, as they are related to power saving modes. Turn off and flow control, disable interrupt moderation and moderation rate for improved performance. In the same tab, disable IPv4 checksum offload, jumbo packet, LSO for IPv4 and IPv6, and all other offloading related options, as they are often buggy. If you see locally administered address, you can leave it unchanged. Disable log link state event, enable packet priority and VLAN, and set receive buffers to the highest value supported by your system, such as 2048, 1024, or 512. Ensure RSS is disabled and set speed and duplex to either auto negotiation or the highest full duplex available. Disable TCP checksum offload and configure transmit buffers properly. If your received buffers are set to 1024, set transmit buffers to 2048 to maintain balance based on your hardware limitations. Disable UDP checksum offload as well. After applying these changes, your network connection may temporarily disconnect, but this is normal and should resolve in a few seconds. Now download this network optimized pack on your PC. You can download this pack from my official website. After downloading, extract the folder on your desktop and open it. In the first step, double click on this registry file and install it on your PC. This registry file will disable the network throttling on your PC. That can improve network speed. To optimize your network settings further, open TCP Optimizer and select the adapter you are using for your internet connection. Once selected, move the slider to the 100 plus Mbps position to ensure the settings are optimized for high-speed connections. After doing so, choose to apply the recommended settings provided by TCP Optimizer, which are pre-configured for optimal performance. Next, locate the auto-tuning feature within TCP Optimizer and disable it. This feature, while designed to optimize data flow, can sometimes interfere with specific applications or gaming needs. 
Similarly, disable scaling heuristics, which adjusts the scaling of TCP windows dynamically, but may limit throughput under certain conditions. Then, change the congestion control provider setting from its default value, which is cubic, to CTCP, compound TCP. CTCP is known for better performance on high-speed and high-latency networks by optimizing data transfer rates and minimizing packet loss. Turn off RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing, to reduce the processing overhead on your CPU and achieve better stability during high-demand scenarios. Then, set time to live, TTL, to 64, which determines how long packets remain active before being discarded. This value is commonly used and ensures your network traffic behaves consistently across various devices and routers. In addition, disable features like checksum offloading, chimney offload, and LSO, large send offload. These offloading options, while intended to improve performance, are often buggy and can lead to instability in certain systems. At the same time, enable TCP 1323 timestamps, which help improve TCP performance on connections with high latency by enabling support for window scaling and timestamps. Navigate to the Advanced Settings section in TCP Optimizer to make further adjustments. Set the max connections per server value to 10, which limits the number of simultaneous connections to a single server to avoid congestion while still allowing efficient data transfer. Adjust the local priority and DNS settings based on your specific requirements or recommended DNS configurations such as Google DNS or Cloudflare DNS. For reliability, set max SYN retransmissions to 2 to control the number of times a connection attempt is retried before timing out. Finally, disable the Network Throttling Index, a setting that can limit your system's throughput under certain conditions, especially during resource-intensive activities like gaming or streaming. Set the System Responsiveness parameter to Gaming, which prioritizes low latency and responsiveness, making it ideal for activities where real-time performance is critical. These adjustments will ensure that your system is tuned for optimal network performance and responsiveness. Apply the changes and close the application. To get started with GearUp Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the GearUp Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.